Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm gonna to do a slightly bit different type of video today. I'm gonna to do some of my top cleaning products that I use on a daily basis. And some of these products you will find that I use them as a multi-purpose type cleaner. So if you like these type of videos, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna talk about these products here today and I'm gonna explain them in a little bit of a detail. So I hope that you don't mind that I'm gonna be a little chatty in this video because I wanted to show you how some of these products are used. And of course, I'm showing you these because these are some of my top favorites. This list is by in no means in any order of importance. I'm just jumping right on in. So I'm gonna start with Lysol, and I usually have it in a spray bottle, but I didn't have the spray bottle on hand, and I just wanted to show you that saving money as well, this is a bonus, is better if you buy the larger size here. If you get this gallon size, you are saving a lot of money. I've had this bottle, this container now for about five months, and now it is down to this level. Um, I love this for the smell. I love the fact that it is a disinfectant. It kills germs and it is just one of the most economical things that you can have in your home. And the lemon scent is a must have. Now, let me tell you about this Lysol. It is a multi-purpose cleaner, guys. We're talking floors, countertops, appliances on the outside if they are not stainless steel. But if they are, you can use this, but you will have to go in with something else so that you don't you know, keep that smudging look or a foggy look on your um, stainless steel uh, appliances. Doorknobs, I definitely put this on doorknobs because it is a disinfectant. I like to use it on the toilet, the bathtub, the showers, and if you have a baby, use it on that stinky diaper pail guys stinky diaper pail it works magic it cleans it it disinfects it and it makes it smell so much better put it in a spray bottle one part lysol one part water the only time you need to use full strength is if your area that you are cleaning is extreme okay that's the only time the next product is probably in most of your your cabinets your pantry is this vinegar white distilled vinegar is one of my favorite cleaning products why is because i use it in the laundry and white clothes white towels don't use too much though because it's, it can act like bleach in terms of destroying and deteriorating your product, your towels. You'll look up and notice little holes, so don't put too much, but it definitely cleans it. It makes the towels nice and fluffy. It's good for your laundry that you wear to work. If you get really dirty at work, you wanna put some of this in here to get rid of all that germs and all the dirt and buildup in your um, cleaning clothes, like if you're a construction worker or something like that, uh, you know, where you get extremely dirty. Put some of this in your wash. Also, it is a multi-purpose when it comes your, to your washing machine because it can clean your washing machine as well, guys. So you are doing a double duo when you use this product. Also, if some of you guys didn't know, it's good for shining and polishing up your toilet seats. It will clean your toilet seat and lid and leave it with a beautiful shine. If you want your refrigerator to look nice and clean and shiny on the inside, guys, where the glass and all the, you know, like the storage cabinets inside of your refrigerator, slap a little bit of this on your refrigerator on the inside, guys and it will smell good and look so nice and shiny. I just love the toilet one. Now the toilet one I think is perfect for those 
who like to keep their bathroom toilet clean on a regular basis. Now, if you're one of those people who rarely ever clean your toilet, I mean, this will help. But if you got dirt and grime all at the top that has built up inside the toilet underneath the seat there, guys, you're going to have to definitely use more than this. But for all of you people who clean your toilets as needed as I do, this is perfect. Now, I don't like to leave this out in the bathroom exposed in my eyes. It's not that cute, but if you like to leave it out, at least it's covered. At least it's covered. I like to use this in a closet. I mean, not use, but store it in a closet after I'm done. Now, the way it works real quick is this is the wand and your brushes or sponges, if you will, they are stored here for your use. You simply pull one out. This is how it looks and it has the solution on here, the cleaner solution already on here. And then you attach it on the bottom and you are ready to go. You go around the toilet. Oh, I didn't put it on good. <laughs> You want to make sure you push it on really hard because I didn't do that. And you go around your toilet bowl with this wand and you go up in the top part of the toilet bowl. If you're following me, if you know what I mean, okay, where the little holes are, where the water comes out when you flush the toilet, it usually has like some buildup there from hard water and everything and just grimy, yucky stuff that you usually find in toilets. So you go around it and it will come off. It leaves this blue film all the way around and then you let it sit for maybe a second and flush. And when you flush, that blue just comes running down and it also acts as a nice deodorizer. So yes, get yourself one of these Clorox toilet wands for all of you who like to keep your toilets clean on a regular basis. And let me give you a quick tip. This one time use is sort of wasteful. So if you have a, another toilet somewhere, two or three more, it will be perfect to use because it's still usually a little bit more of the uh, cleaning solution still on the sponge. And I would just love for you to get the most of your buck. But if you only have one toilet to clean, that's fine. But if you have at least one more, I would suggest you go ahead and use it so that you don't waste your sponge. And when you're done, here's a little button here. You press this button over your trash can like so, and it falls right off. And so that way you don't have to even touch it. It's in the trash can and you're done. Now, once you are finished with um, your wand, it simply stores right back here and you can put it in the closet and put it, put it away for next time or you can let it sit next to your toilet. But like I said, I don't think that's very cute. Okay. It's not cute. The next product is Infuse. This is a multi-purpose cleaner and I love this Infuse because of the plant-based um, scent because it is plant-based. So it's very safe for your countertops. After you have cooked on your countertops, it is safe for that. It is safe for your sink and everything. And if you have little ones around, at least you're not worried about they're getting something very poison or, you know, bad for their health, just in case. Cause you know, we have little ones that like to touch everything, but this is great a great multi-purpose cleaner and is nice and safe and is biodegradable. And my favorite thing about Infuse in general is their spray bottle, guys. The spray bottles are amazing. They're so sturdy. The uh, nozzle on it is very comfortable to the hand and it is so extremely sturdy. This is one of the best bottles you will ever have in your cleaning regimen. So go out and get yourself one of these, okay? Next item on my list is Barkeeper's Friend. I really like this Barkeeper's Friend. It is good for any stainless steel products. Your stove 
uh, your sink and especially your stainless steel pots and pans. If you have any stainless steel pots and pans that need a little love, that has a lot of burnt on grease and food underneath the bottom and the sides, and you just it's just one of those beautiful pots you once knew, if you get this barkeeper's friend, you'll definitely back in business. It is also good for tile, copper, and porcelain as a dual purpose cleaner and ceramic. But those stainless steel pots and pans, guys, this is the business for that. Spray Away is one of my favorite window cleaners of all time. Um, I cannot ignore that nice airy scent that Spray Away provides. And if you want a quick cleanup without really cleaning up, you know how people say no makeup, makeup look. Well, this is a quick cleanup without cleaning up. So if your home is already clean, for instance, and you're going to have a little bit of company in a little bit and you want something to smell like nice and airy and you need to like wipe off the window seal really quick, use this Spray the window seal that's near the door. Spray the window if it needs to be cleaned off. And guys, you will get that nice, airy, sprayed on, spray away scent. And I prefer the can. I think it comes in a spray plastic bottle, but I prefer the can. I, I don't know. I'm a bit of a spray nozzle snob so when i find one that i like i stick with it but this is this stuff is amazing it's usually streak free and you don't have to spray it very heavily and you want to spray it upright for about 8 to 12 inches away from the window or, or or whatever you're spraying it on and i have also touched up some blinds with this if the blinds just have a little cup you know a few little specks or something on it and it's good for glass like the front glass of your oven door um, very good for that as well and it like I said it leaves a nice nice smell I can't even describe it it's just nice and airy like a fresh uh, fresh linen or something it's just oh it smells so good and it works, it works. I love it more than Windex. And if you've been following me for a long time in my vlogs, when I go out on cleaning jobs, you know how much I brag about this right here. This right here. This is the Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower Foamer. And it has to say foamer. The foamer is the business, guys. Okay, and if Scrubbing Bubbles, if you ever want to sponsor me, hey, I'm ready, I am ready. But yes, this is Johnson's Scrubbing Bubbles and it is amazing. I love it mainly for its purpose in the bathtub and shower, but also if you have some really dusty, grimy window blinds, this works so well on your blinds, guys. Spray it on your blinds and do a quick wipe and it will get most of the uh, dirt from your blinds and also if your blinds just look a little dingy uh, scrubbing bubbles will have your blinds looking as white as they were when you first purchased them okay that is if they are not too old and this is definitely one of my favorite multi-purpose products it is bio it has biodegradable um, chemicals in it and it is just amazing and it works on so many things so many things okay if you have a dog with fleas and you are going to take your dog to the vet this is not a permanent fix but a temporary overnight fix put some dawn on your dog in the bathtub and it will clean kill the fleas on contact it will kill the fleas on contact. Now I know that you've watched this video and at least have gotten to this point. If you put down in the comments that thanks for that done tip. If you put that in the comments, I know you got at least this far. Don't skip the video guys. Watch it. Watch all of it to the end. 
Okay, so put it down in the comments. Thanks for the done tip, okay? Now, it is 50% less scrubbing like they say. Now, within the laundry, I love to put just a little dot. Don't put a lot because if you do, you're gonna have to call your appliance man to come and fix your washer. But if you put a little dot on a stain on your clothes, it will definitely get the stain out. Let me demonstrate that little dot I'm talking about, okay? See, you're gonna get more than just a product review here. You're gonna get a demo. That's the dot I'm talking about. And you're gonna take your shirt, whatever it is you're washing, scrub it first, and then put it in the wash and it will get your stains out. Now it works really well on cloth diapers if you are using cloth diapers for your baby. If you can get those diapers clean immediately with this done, again, just a dot, it will come out. It has a better chance of coming out and getting a lot cleaner. Now, of course, done is for your dishes. Done is good for your tires on your car. If you have greasy, grimy tires, it is good for your bathtub. If you have a black ring around the tub, put it in the tub. Again, don't use too much. Use a little bit more than a dot, but don't use too much in the tub because you will have a soapy mess, okay? But it will get your tub clean as well. So yes, done has a multi-purpose. And if you don't use no more than needed, it will last you a long time. If you're going through bottles of Dawn in less than three weeks at least, then you're using too much. <sighs> okay, okay. Now this is one of my new loves. This is Star Drops, the pink stuff the miracle cleaning paste, and it is definitely a miracle cleaning paste. You will use this and you will thank me. You will thank me. And when you use it, I need you to come back and thank me because I know that this is gonna be it. If you have oven cleaner, easy off oven cleaner, throw it out put it in the garbage. I'm not gonna go in full details on how to clean with this, but this is amazing. I have a video already posted regarding the pink stuff, so check out that video, but this is stuff is amazing. The one thing I'm going to tell you why I love so much, the number one reason is because it does not have the strong odors that the oven cleaner has, okay? It has 99% natural ingredients. It is environmentally friendly, non-toxic guys, non-toxic, non-hazardous, hazardous. I always have problems saying that, non-hazardous, and it has not been tested on any animals. So yes, guys, run out and go to Home Depot and pick up yourself the pink stuff. Now, right after using the pink stuff, okay, on the stove, on your glass top uh, stoves, which I absolutely hate glass top stoves, by the way, um, but they need love as well. And I used to clean primarily with this um, for the glass tops, but you know what? The built on dirt that you see on glass top stoves, this just does not do it it just don't. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Now, let me give you a little tip. When you don't feel like cleaning your stove and you just cooked on it and you have grease all over it, don't let it sit there. Do not let it sit there. You don't have to get this out yet because remember, you're tired, you just got in from work and you just want to go to bed, eat dinner, go to bed, okay? So what you need to do is just take a towel with some water and just wipe off the grease and you're gonna have streaks everywhere, but streaks is okay. Streaks is okay, okay? You're just getting that grease because that grease will get stuck and that food will get stuck on that glass top stove and it just makes your life a lot harder. So once you use the pink stuff, you're gonna go in and clean with this, but you're not really cleaning with this. I'm now using this as a polisher. Even though it says clean and polish, 
I use this as a polish because after I use the pink stuff, the stove is very cloudy. It's clean, but cloudy. So I have to go in with this. And so now this is just my polisher. So that's it guys. This is the lineup of my favorite, top favorite products that I use almost daily. And if you love this type of video, please hit that notification button and hit that subscription button. You need to subscribe, right? You subscribe to everything else. Hey, you need to subscribe to me because your girl is out here working hard for you, trying to bring you some value. And so then you will know the next time that I am on set.